Hey man, thanks for uh, sharing your frustration about this uh, evolution versus creationism stuff. Uh, because I too am uh, often frustrated by the shallowness of, of the way it's portrayed, at least in, in mass media. Um, and, and even in um, uh, media books, um, lectures that, uh, you know, are supposed to go deeper that end up just um, taking uh, one side too seriously. And I, I think the, uh, uh, the real culprit here, or at least the source of most of my frustration, is the claims of certainty, whether it's the creationists who are certain that God created everything um, and is responsible for designing all the biological form that we see, or it's the certainty of uh, the especially uh, reductionistic, materialistic um, scientists who are certain that there is nothing we do, do not understand about the way evolution proceeds, that uh, in fact consciousness, mind, meaning, purpose, all of these things are really uh, reducible to their component parts, which through vast spans of time, billions of years, have slowly, step by step, become what we today recognize as, you know, somehow ontologically significant, as though mind uh, existed uh, independently of matter. Uh, and I, I, I wouldn't say that I would take that view, but it's just, it's the certainty um, of any explanation to account for our experience that I'm skeptical of. Um, you know, I myself would certainly rather take uh, the scientific perspective, but there's nothing inherent to science um, which requires that we offer theories uh, which, you know, are, are supposed to be certain um, or are supposed to be the answer. That is what we normally attribute to religion. So um, some evolutionists, we might call them, um, are just as dogmatic as some creationists. Now, you know, this is not to damn all science. Like I said, I would take the perspective of science more seriously. Um, but more of a, a skeptical uh, brand of science, because after all, a scientific theory can never be proven right. It can only be proven wrong. Uh, and when science is undertaken with that held uh, in consideration, always, um, you know, there's no danger of us um, assigning certainty to any particular theory when it's not warranted. Um, and I, I think the root of, the, of this is really more of a cultural uh, debate than it is anything to do with actual science or biology or evolutionary theory. Um, and I say that because the, the religious people, the creationists, um, they see in Darwinism and evolution generally sort of uh, a tendency to, to see meaning and purpose and value and morals and, and consciousness um, as illusions, as um, products of a mindless material um, process which has no reason for being has no direction, um, no teleology, um, and that's threatening to them, not for scientific reasons, but for human reasons. And I, I, like I said before, uh, the especially reductionistic, scientistic um, theorists of, of evolution, in trying to be certain that they've got everything under wraps, that they now with their theories understand everything there is to know about how life came to be. They may be, um, you know, turning a blind eye to some of, you know, I don't want to say the, some of the more mysterious aspects of human existence, but uh, some of the more spiritual, some of the more um, irreducible um, phenomena of, of human existence that we simply can't say, oh, it's just this underlying process of, of blind mechanism. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, Dan Dennett would, would, call, would call that greedy reductionism. 
and I would want to steer steer clear of greedy reductionism as much as I would want to steer clear of of greedy transcendentalism. Um, both are uh, a, a step too far in uh, the direction of certainty, and certainty is what creates dogma, um, and we want to avoid that at all costs, whether it's religious or scientific dogma. So. Um, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that and keep this pretty short, but uh, thanks for giving us your, uh, your perspective. And, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't usually turn away uh, people that want to talk to me about these things, whether they're, you know, religious people with their brochures or, uh, or more, you know, secular-minded people just who want to discuss the science. I, uh, I like to engage anybody that's willing to talk about these things because these are important things. Um, I think anybody who, who's honest would say that, you know, they don't fit easily into either pole, at least the extreme versions of either pole, as though it's, you know, evolution versus creationism, um, whether, as if evolution is, is about reducing anything mental, anything conscious or, or purposeful to just this blind mechanical material collision of atoms, um, or as though creationism was just you know, the Christian version of Genesis, you know, there's obviously some wiggle room here. Um, and I like to wiggle my way through this, this debate to find some, some common ground where maybe it's not so much uh, evolution versus creationism, but just, you know, the general depth of human experience that needs to be explored um, such that we don't divide ourselves into these, these what I think are false dichotomies. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening, and... Uh, Keep up the uh, the deep thinking.